welcome back it's your boy mr green hands i know you can't see me but today um i'm videoing it in the night today is guy fawkes night in the uk where you're gonna hear a lot of fireworks but i came because we've been having a lot of rain recently and look at these leaves they're a bit bitten up but i said let me come and harvest or oh, you probably can see my breath as well it's very cold out here right now to get my purple bok choy because these are the time when the sluggies love to come out and take your food let me just cut this bottom one off i don't really want to cut all the way through to the bottom of it i don't want to pull it i just want to just pinch it at the end there look at that i know it's a bit bitten up but with a few care should i say tender love and care and a good wash absolutely with a bit of salt and a flick of get some of these slugs off there it's going to be a soak i'm going to soak the i'm actually going to soak these tonight but look how beautiful that is this is a purple bok choy and and i said that i didn't take out the stem i want that to stay there and feed that that underground that powerhouse that amazing microorganism that helps the soil stay rich and ready for the next season there's a couple of them over here it won't be a long video guys i just really wanted to grab these because it is wet and horrible so you know what i said let me just come down and grab these before i lose them because the weather is getting a bit cold a bit is an understatement a bit cold it's getting really cold guys and i'm really proud of these because these turn out really well never thought i'd be able to get them because i've been trying for years to have some beautiful bok choy these are some of them are a bit bitten up but look at that that is beautiful and these are going to go into my tummy when i get them home and they are looking amazing it's not much but let me grab this other one over here that's it all of them are starting to get bitten up they were trying to the bugs are coming out and they're just even though it's wet the slugs is what i'm hate i'm not happy with but um yeah they're a bit bitten up i'm gonna wash them and i'm gonna plant some more next year this actually makes me want to grow a, a very beautiful bed of, of bok choy next season and probably harvest them earlier just to make sure let me just show you so this is the massive one that i got it's looking lovely it's about two big ones and a couple of small ones but I'll, they're a little bit beaten up but still good eating you can eat them and the best thing about them i did not use any chemicals to grow them so yeah i'm gonna get them inside my tummy one of these days but before you guys go let me just give you guys a quick show this is the bed that the foxes destroyed. I know it's night and I got my light on. Show you there's some beautiful, you know, I actually might take some of these, some beetroot home with me today. It's been a while. Actually, I haven't taken any home this season, but let me just rip this out. Look at that. Beautiful beetroot. That's gonna go into my bag, my goodie bag to go home with. Because I do have quite a few beetroot. Some beautiful kale there. I'm gonna come and get some of those soon. I have some sort of like cabbages or well, literally all my brassicas are doing really well look at that those are all cauliflower some winter cabbages at the back there it's looking good i got some autumn um carrots that i need to come and get and look when you see this guys when you see mushrooms in your garden you know your soil is beautiful it's not something for you to eat but it's showing you that it's great there's a lot of activity underneath and it's doing really well for me I'm just gonna grab some more beetroot and head home. I even might grab a snowball turnip. Yeah, let me just grab that. Let me grab that out of here while I'm here. There's a beautiful snowball turnip. Got a couple of them in here. I'm gonna rip one of these out. These are young, so they're just gonna be delicious. Why not while I'm here? Look at that, beautiful. Add that to the home meal. Beautiful to make a soup with. Snowball turnip, absolutely amazing great for the cold 
weather, if you're growing them in a cold temperature, they're perfect. They do a fantastic job because they can manage all of that. It's just amazing. Look at it again. And this is it, your boy. You're not gonna see my face today. It's quite dark. But yeah, this is me. Still growing. And then I know, you're probably thinking, oh, it's night, what the hell are you doing out here? It's not a time or day that I don't feel that I need not to be here. It's beautiful. This part of the garden is looking a bit sparsely, but I have plans to come and get my garlic done and yeah, do some tidying up and get this gar garden looking ready for the next season. And th things are still gonna be in the garden. Even in winter, guys, come on. It's gonna be lovely, look at it, it's just beautiful. We're heading towards December. Oh yeah, we're in November, we're heading towards December and I still can come and get some food. That's what it's all about. Have a great afternoon, guys. Stay blessed. This is your boy, Mr. Green Hands. And don't forget, please, look after this beautiful planet. Yeah, the fireworks, this guy, Guy Fawkes Day. He's gonna hear a lot of fireworks. Look at that, like all breaking off. So yes, look at that. You can hear like, yeah, it's not what you think it is, but it's definitely fireworks, guys. Look at that. Amazing. On that note, see you guys soon.